This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. Today's video, we're gonna be doing another highly requested video, which is 50 fall crochet ideas. Now I'm fully aware that we're in the middle of September, but I did look up like when fall technically starts and it's like the end of September-ish. So I figured I could get this video out to you so you guys have a little bit of time before fall officially starts to kind of start working on your projects, your blankets or your decor or things like that. So they're ready for the fall season to start. Before we get into it, I just want to remind everyone that everything I say will be listed in the description box in the order that I said it, linked to a paid or free free written or video tutorial so that you can make whatever I'm showing you. So for today's video, we have five categories, okay? And these are also beginner friendly patterns. There are a few that you might wanna have a project or two under your belt, but for the most part, they're beginner friendly patterns. So the five categories that we have, we have blankets, decor, clothing, accessories, and then a miscellaneous category that kind of just caught everything that didn't fit in any of the other categories. Let's go ahead and jump right into our first category, which is blankets. So for blankets, we have this really cute fall pumpkin blanket, okay? And then we have this falling leaves throw blanket, which has fall colors. And then we have this scarecrow granny stitch, which is, or granny square, sorry, which I added in here so that you guys can make blankets with this granny sit or square oh my gosh and then you can also make a granny square blanket which is just like the normal granny stitch but if you use fall colors it can be really cute like hanging on the back of a couch or something like that and then we also have this maple leaves afghan if you're more of like a fall leaves type of girly when it comes to blankets and then we also have this fall crochet blanket, um, autumn style blanket. And this one has a bunch of different kinds of stitches and decals to really make it like unique to you. And then we have this farm fresh fall blanket, which is mostly just granny squares, which adorable. If you're anything like me, crocheting is not your only hobby and you're constantly adding skills and adding crafty hobbies to your plethora of things you like to do on your free time. Lucky for you, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare has classes on a wide variety of topics like illustration, graphic design, photography, UX design, creative writing, animation, fine art, and so many more, including things like entrepreneurship, craft, and social media classes. Whether you want to learn the basics of watercolor painting or learn how to start your own creative business, Skillshare has classes to take you from beginner to pro alongside a supportive community. Now you guys already know that I've been crocheting for so long, like years and years and years, so I've been kind of curious of what knitting is all about. So I decided to take Vincent Williams Knitting 101 classes and I'm actually so excited because it has so many details broken down into different lessons like reading knitted patterns and casting on along with like various knitting stitches. But if you're interested in better understanding crocheting or really like how to modify crochet patterns to better fit your needs, things like that, Skillshare has plenty of videos on that topic as well. So if you wanna unlock your creativity or learn something new, Skillshare is giving you a one month free trial when you use the link in the description box below. The first 1000 people to click the link in my description box will get a one month free trial with Skillshare. So that's that is all we have for blankets, so let's go ahead and move into the next category, which is decor, which is my favorite category for fall, uh, for especially this fall video. I actually crocheted these pumpkins for my mom to decor, to do to decor, to decorate in her living room. Um, I crocheted two of them and I did post a video tutorial on how to make these cute little pumpkins on my channel. If that's something that you want to make, I'll link it up here. I'll also link it down in the description box below. But let's get into all of the patterns I've collected for you for decor. First, we have this pumpkin dish cloth, okay? And then we have this really cute pie pillow. Um, a lot of these things will be pumpkin and pie related for obvious reasons, okay? But there's also this front of the door fall decor crocheted like pumpkin stack, which I thought was really cute. And I like rarely see crochet on front doors. So I thought that was kind of like fun and unique. You can also make this crocheted pumpkin, which kind of has like that 
picnic um, pattern style to it. And then you could also make these lit up granny pumpkins. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're just made out of granny squares so that there are holes so that you can put like fairy lights or a mason jar inside them. But definitely check that pattern out. And then there's this maple leaf pattern if you want to make coasters or even like little garlands to hang around a room. And then if you don't like the maple leaves, you can do these fall leaf garlands, okay? Um, you can even make a pumpkin garland with tiny little pumpkins or you can make this sunflower candle coaster, which I have actually never thought of crocheting a candle coaster before seeing this pattern. I know like coasters for drinks, but I thought this was really cute. Just make sure that like it's a candle that has a glass jar so that it's not gonna like melt and like catch your candle holder on fire because that would be bad. So keep that in mind but you can also make these cute little pumpkin basket sets to hold things like candy or like tiny pumpkins or things like that. You can also make these pumpkin coasters for drinks not for candles. Okay super cute um, and then you can also make this fabulous fall wreath with um, little pumpkins and fall flowers to add on to like a wreath that you're already going to put on your door if you don't want the whole thing to be crocheted and then more into our pillows uh, you got this fall crochet pillow with this truck full of pumpkins which I thought was really cute and I actually am thinking of making this for my grandma because I just feel like I feel like she would like it, okay? So I'm probably gonna make that, but um, you can also make this pumpkin uh, pillow with the C2C blanket square kind of stitching, which I've never done C2C, but if you have, can you comment down below and tell me if it's like hard or not? Because I don't know if that's like a beginner friendly thing because I haven't done it myself. So let me know if C2C stitching is difficult. And then you can make these little fall gnomes to either add to something or just hang around with like your other garlands and things like that. That is all we have for decor. So let's move into the clothing category, which another highly requested category for fall. So we have this really cute uh, patchwork sweater with a little pumpkin, a little ghost, a little cat moment, super cute. And on the topic of patchwork sweaters, you can also make a patchwork cardigan like this one with like similar fall colors with any patchwork cardigan tutorial okay super cute and then you can make the l coverall dress which i thought was very cute i also think foxes are very fall they kind of remind me of Anne with an e if you've seen that show love that show uh you can also make this lightweight um cardigan or even this fall pocket shawl type it looks like a cardigan but it's more of like a shawl with huge pockets which I thought was really cool especially if you're like cozy outside and you're reading and you need a spot to put your like little tabs for your book I think that's really cute um or you could even make this um top that kind of has like a big neck to show off your shoulders but I love the color she used in this picture. I think it gave very fall. Uh, you can also make this beautiful off the shoulder sweater dress in fall colors, match it with some high boots, okay? And then, and then go get a pumpkin spice latte, okay? The epitome of fall. So oversized hood cardigan is also a good option if you love a cardigan, but you kind of want to add a hood into the scene. You can also make this cardigan, which is a little more simple stitching if you're not really comfortable with crocheting enough to do a full-blown cardigan this is like a more simplized cardigan uh, and then you can also make this scarlet fairy dress which i just thought gave very fall and even like early winter like kind of into that zone um or you can make this harvest car cardigan and wear it to a pumpkin patch that'd be cute um and then if you have a kid you can totally make this granny kind of this kind of granny stitch sweater slash like hoodie jacket in fall colors. I think it'd be so cute, especially if you're taking your kid to a pumpkin patch and you want really cute pictures with something you crocheted. Definitely do that. Or you can also make this big bell sleeve type dress in fall colors. Again, imagine frolicking around, crunching on leaves in that, like adorable. Or you can make this crochet ribbed dress as well if you want more of like a dress vibe. And that is all we have for clothing, so let's go ahead and move into accessories. 
So for accessories, I have this scarf for you with this cute orange cat, okay, model. But I have this scarf for you and then I also have this pumpkin wine glass cozies, which I thought were really cute. And if mom, if you're watching this, um, don't because I'm making this for you, okay, for fall. Because I've made her wine glass cozies before and I just thought this would be super cute as like a seasonal wine cozy. So I'm going to make this for you. But if you heard that, no, you didn't. It's a surprise. Um, so I also have this other scarf, which is super cute. A striped scarf, a striped scarf moment. Oh my goodness. Uh, you can also make fall earrings to add to any outfit. Super cute. And then you can make this fall, this fally pumpkin wine holder. If you're going to a dinner or something like that, or even Thanksgiving, you can bring your wine bottle in this. Like, isn't that so cute? It's like a wine glass, but then you're also getting the gift of the bag that the wine glass came in. Super cute. Um, and then you can even make these pumpkin cup cozies to go around hot coffee, or these pretty pumpkin baby booties if you have a baby and you're planning on doing a fall photo shoot with them, or taking them to a pumpkin patch and you want them to look cute in their pictures, definitely make these little baby booties, okay? That's all we have for accessories, so let's kind of slide into the miscellaneous category. So, for the miscellaneous category, we have this mouse in a pumpkin costume. Super cute. Okay, adorable. I love it. Um, we also have this pumpkin pie crochet set. It's, this is fun, especially if you have kids um, and you just kind of want to make them like a seasonal pumpkin pie toy. That'd be cool. Or even if you just want to make one piece and put it somewhere on like a shelf for decor for fall it would be super cute. And then there's this pump, pump kitty pie, which is like a kitty in a pumpkin pie super cute or even this turkey pattern if you want a turkey stuffed animal in the season of fall thanksgiving you know that kind of thing um but yeah that is all i have for you when it comes to fall crochet ideas in this video uh if there is a specific category within this video that you want more of like if you want a 50 fall clothing or like a 50 fall decor only let me know in the comments down below and i will totally make that for you everything i said is listed in the description box in the order that i said it linked to a paid or free written or video tutorial so that you can make whatever i showed you and if you're looking for the specific pictures they are all on a cohesive pinterest board that was also linked down below so you can just go check that out and find all the pictures that i showed you here today and the pictures original owners okay if you're planning on making anything fun for fall definitely follow me on instagram so i can see it and tag me in it when it's done so i can share it on my instagram story other than that guys thanks for watching i love you all have a great fall season bye